Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna give you an overview of my COVID-19 tracker app, which is finally ready and available at covid19tracker.glideapp.io. I'm gonna put a link for that in the description if you wanna check out the app, if you wanna add it to your home screen and get all the latest numbers of coronavirus across the world, you know, um, share it with your friends, share it with your family, your community. Uh, it's completely free to use and up to date. Now in this video, um, as I said, I'm gonna walk you through the app and how I managed to build this. So the first thing I want to mention is that this app is built on glideapps.com, which is an amazing platform for building applications without code. Um, and the database for this app, where it gets all the data from, is a spreadsheet, right? That's how Glide works. Um, feel free to check it out and experiment, experiment with it. But yeah, all the data is stored in a spreadsheet, as you can see right here. So in the previous video I made, I showed you my first attempt to creating this app and I showed you all the efficiency issues that I had. Every time I was updating the app, I mean all the numbers on the app, I had to perform about 750 operations inside Integromat in order to update all those numbers. And the reason for that is because we have so many countries, you know, we have about 200 countries here and all these numbers, you know, need to be updated. So every time I was updating those numbers, I had to perform about 750 operations, which was making the app very inefficient to run. Now I made some changes, I made some tweaks, and now every time this app runs, I only had to perform four operations. Now the way I managed to achieve that is by getting data from two different sources, two different APIs, right? Um, the first API I'm getting data from is this module right here. So the COVID-19 module, which is provided by Integromat. So every time this workflow runs, it actually runs every 60 minutes. Every time this runs, the first thing that we do is we get the global current numbers using this module. Those numbers are then added to a row on my spreadsheet, which I'm going to show you right now. So we are currently on the global sheet right here. So this row gets updated with all the current numbers. These are the, these are the global numbers. And then with the help of Glide, these numbers are being displayed on the front page of the app. These right here are the global numbers. So that's the first thing that happens. Then we have this module right here, which runs and it updates a cell. Now this is where the magic happens. If I go to my spreadsheet right here, this um, the cell that gets updated is on the country's spreadsheet. And as you can see, this is the spreadsheet that contains the data for every single country across the world. And the cell that gets updated in order to update all this data is the first cell right here, A1. And what we update that cell with is this simple formula. Actually, it's not a simple formula. It's a very complicated formula. And it's a custom formula. It's not a formula that's provided by Google Sheets. I'm going to put a link for the documentation um, of this formula and how you can add it to your Google Sheets. Um, but essentially what this formula does, it calls an API and it populates the spreadsheet with the data that is um, that we get from that API. Now the API that I'm using in order to get this data and populate the spreadsheet with this data is this one right here, right? So this API gets data from, um, from uh, Johns Hopkins University, which is a very reliable source. And as you can see, let me show you the magic here. So if I, if I remove this, all the data disappears. Right. As soon as I paste in that formula, boom, we get all the data. So that's what makes this happen, guys. Every once an hour, that cell gets updated with the same formula. So all the data refreshes and we get all the um, up to date data, which is then passed into Glide. And therefore, we're able to generate this map and have all the cases displayed on the map and also this um, list of countries right here, which again is up to date with all the um, latest cases, right? So that's extremely powerful. 
and that's how this works. Now the next thing we do is update another cell, which is the cell on the news um, sheet right here. Same formula, but different API. So this API right here is the news um, newsapi.org. And this is a really nice API that lets you construct the URL in order to get um, the top headlines from specific news sources for specific topics, right? So uh, as you can see here, I'm getting the top headlines from BBC uh, for coronavirus. Um, and yeah, that, get, that that populates this uh, spreadsheet right here with all the top headlines every once an hour, right? So that's how my app works, guys. And as I mentioned, all this happens inside Glide right here. Now, the most interesting feature in this app, guys, is the map feature, right? This is where all the countries in the world are displayed. And when you tap on a country, you can get a nice label here with the total cases. When we click on this, we get a page with all the numbers in that country. So that's really nice. And I want to give a huge shout out to George from the Glide support team for helping me implement this feature. Um, and unlocking the, the premium uh, plan for Glide in order to display every, every single country in the world. So that's really awesome. And um, yeah, guys, this is the whole app. Please let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a course on this and show you how I built this step by step um, and especially um, explain how I managed to get this formula working right here. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials and more projects like this one. And I'm going to see you on the next video.